The road to WrestleMania runs through Raw is War this evening. And whilst we are on the horizon of a brand new era here in WWE, tonight's edition of Raw is still firmly placed in the era of Attitude. Speaking of Attitude, in tonight's main event, arguably the biggest star of this era, Stone Cold Steve Austin faces off against, I guess you could say, Vince McMahon's henchman. That man, of course, Vader. Austin takes on Vader this evening in a DQ match. This match, of course, ahead of their gigantic WrestleMania tag team GM versus GM winner take all tag team match, as it will be McFoley and Stuggles Steve Austin taking on Vince McMahon and his son in law, the game Triple H. So, Austin versus Vader still to come. However, as we are seeing, kicking off tonight's show, the unexpected arrival of the British Bulldog. Now, it's got to be said, the Bulldog, not exactly a familiar face around these parts for these days, as it has been a fair bit of time since we have seen the Bulldog in action. However, I guess on the verge of a new era, he has picked his time to make his return. Well, let's hear what the Bulldog has got to say to the raw audience. And comments such as these are hardly going to go down well with the raw as well faithful. The crowd all over the Bulldog. Certainly no love lost there either way. And look who it is. The Dudley boys have heard enough. Bubba Ray and Dean on the Dudley Boys on tonight's edition of Monday Night Roar's War. Now, whilst Bubba Ray and Dean remained undrafted as we left last week's edition of Super SmackDown, I can confirm both Bubba Ray and Dean have been officially signed to the Red Brand for WrestleMania. And they're now face to face with the British Bulldog. Oh, the Bulldog going for a cheap shot. Bubba Ray and wanting none of it. Shake, crowd and roll by the big man. Devon now picking Bulldog to his feet. And one of the most popular tag teams in wrestling history making a massive impact on tonight's edition of Monday Night Roar's War. And that impact certainly not throwing off the British Bulldog. The crowd on their feet. The Dudley boys pumped up. And certainly some bad news in coming for the British Bulldog. Bubba Bomb time. Bubba Ray Dudley with the Bubba Bomb. A terrible evening so far for the British Bulldog. Not exactly what he imagined, I'm sure. And there we go. The 3D, the Dudley Death Drop. One of the most devastating tag team maneuvers in wrestling history. And of course, here we go. Devon, get the tables. Table time. The Bulldog are making a surprise appearance after many years inactive on Raw. Very disrespectful to the Raw as well crow tonight. The Dudley boys, not too fond of it. Making their appearance. Which has led to now the demise of the British Bulldog. Table in the ring. Bubba Ray positioned on the second rope. We know what's coming. This one is going to be classic Dudley boys dating back to the ECW days. Here we go. The sit down powerbomb of the second rope. British Bulldog, thanks for coming. The Dudley boys ahead of the new era making a gigantic impact on tonight's edition of Monday Night Raw's War. And the Dudley boys including the tables back on Raw and arguably looking better than ever. However, time to move on because up next, our first official match of the evening, it is going to be the Big Red Machine Kane taking on the NWO's Scott Hall. Scott Hall making his way to the ring first. As you can see, one half of the reigning tag team champions. Those tag team championships, formerly a Raw Championship, and I guess technically until two weeks' time, remain a Raw Championship. However, as we found out on last week's edition of Super Smackdown, the NWO handpicked by Mick Foley heading to the blue brand following WrestleMania. 
And as it currently stands, they will be taking the Raw Tag Team Championships with them. Scott Hall won third of the NWO. Of course, the other two members being Kevin Nash and The Big Show. Those two superstars not here this evening, so Scott Hall riding solo. And also riding solo, one half of the Brothers of Destruction, the Big Red Monster, the Big Red Machine, Kane. Kane now making his legendary entrance, as intimidating as they come. And that is right, as you are seeing Kane without the Hardcore Championship. If you missed last week, if you missed last week's edition of SmackDown, then Kane defeated Luke Harper in an official match. Then fought off challenges from Eric Rowan, Braun Strowman, and even Heath Slater for a cup of coffee. Ultimately, though, come the end of it, Finn Balor from nowhere, the coup de grace off the stage. Finn Balor leaves SmackDown a double champion, including the brand new Hardcore Champion. So Kane, no stranger to the Hardcore Division craziness. However, obviously not too happy with how things went down. So Kane, obviously not too happy about what went down on SmackDown. I'm looking to get some pent up frustration out this evening, which of course is going to mean some pretty bad news for Scott Hall in this upcoming match. And with that, the match begins. Scott Hall taking on Kane. Of course, Kane, the first joint draft pick for SmackDown last week, with The Undertaker taking not only at the time the World Championship, but the Hardcore Championship over to the Blue Brand. Again, as we touched on, Kane losing that championship. Although I'm sure the Hardcore Championship, especially with the 24 7 rule, will be a focus for Kane in the weeks to come. However, tonight, Kane is Hardcore Championshipless. And then a straight top one on one match with Scott Hall. So let's see how this one is going to go down. Attempted to pull Kane back to his feet. Kane, of course, wanted none of it. The big right hands. The Irish whip and a massive big boot to the chin of Scott Hall. And the current tag team champion reeling in the early going. Kane now go for the early cover. But with Scott Hall to his credit, kicking out after not only a one count. Like we've mentioned, both these men riding solo this evening. No Undertaker for Kane and no Kevin Nash or Big Strike for Scott Hall. And this one, strictly one-on-one. -on -one. And the seven foot up, slowly but surely, getting that top rope. Signature Kane there, the big man, almost clotheslining in, Scott Hall out of his boots. And Kane looking to end this one early. An early choke slamming coming. Scott Hall reverse from a choke slam. Razor's edge. Looking for his finisher this time. Kane reversing the Razor's edge. This match continues. Girl for the choke slam yet again. But another reversal. Scott Hall for the second time reversing the choke slam. And now classic Scott Hall there. The fall away slam to the seven foot up. Scott Hall, of course, a former Intercontinental. And WCW US Champion, not to mention multiple times Tag Team Champions. This time Scott Hall, Torn and Kane going for his own version of the Joke Slam. But look at this, Kane not appreciative at disrespect. Choke Slam into Choke Slam. Scott Hall, find out the hard way you do not disrespect the Big Red Machine. If you do, this is what happens. A massive Choke Slam with Scott Hall, followed by more classic Kane. The falling powerbomb. 
And Kane is not done. Because he is signaling for the end. Is it a tombstone? Is it another choke slam? It's Milata. This time for the second time. Another gigantic choke slam. Scott Hall, Roy the Pain, down and out on the mat. And the referee, count the three. This one is over. Kane victorious. And Kane might no longer be the hardball champion, but showing the universe he is still a dominant force in the era. And with this new era upon us, who knows what the future will hold for Kane on the blue brand following WrestleMania. Of course, we will find out the future of many superstars in the weeks to come. However, as far as tonight goes, Kane victorious. Kane defeated the NWO's Scott Hall. And this show has absolutely flown by it because already it is tonight's main event. And there he is, the man himself. The man that will face Vader up next and the man that will team with Mick Foley and take on Vince McMahon and Triple H at WrestleMania. The legend that is Stone Cold Steve Austin. And here we go, moments away, Stone Cold Steve Austin taking on Vince McMahon's henchman, the man known as Vader. Like we mentioned, come WrestleMania, it is that GM versus GM winner take all tag team match. It will be Stone Cold Steve Austin and McFoley taking on Vince McMahon and a sudden or Triple H. Triple H though, not here this evening. Although Vince is, and I heard today that Vince will be confronting Stone Cold Steve Austin following this match. So exciting time to come. That tag team match for WrestleMania, one of many massive matches. Come the granddaddy of them all. Because also at WrestleMania, we're going to be seeing for the WWE Championship a massive ladder match. Right one, Seth Rollins taking on the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. We're also going to be seeing for the first time ever on pay-per-view, The Undertaker defending the World Championship against Y2J Chris Jericho. We're going to be seeing the former tag team partners collide when Daniel Bryan takes on John Cena. We're also going to be seeing Sting taking on the Wyatt Family leader, Bray Wyatt. Of course, plus many other matches still to be announced, so stay tuned for that. However, back to tonight's action. Stoke was opponent this evening, Vader now currently making his way to the ring. And Vader pretty much as nasty and as powerful as they come. The man, a legend in his own right. Certainly known as one of the best brawlers in wrestling history. This man, handpicked personally by the boss himself. Vince McMahon to take on Stone Cold Steve Austin here this evening. And of course, with WrestleMania under two weeks away, the sole purpose of this matchup is to weaken Stone Cold for that event. Because, of course, if Vince McMahon loses that match, he will lose his power on Raw's War. And if that is the case, we will be getting a brand new general manager following WrestleMania. However, the referee has run the bell, and this one is officially underway. Well, these two men face to face, Stone Cold telling Vader exactly what he thinks of him. And here we go, the right hands by Austin. But immediately followed back by Vader. These two men, two of the best brawlers on the roster. This match, a new DQ match, sure to be as hard hitting as they come. Referee merely here to count the pinfall or signal the submission. Austin off the ropes. And look at that, the bear hug front slam. A massive slam by Vader. And when you are a man the size of Vader, the most simplest moves become the most painful moves. The full weight of the big man onto the chest there of the rattlesnake. Austin now into the corner. More right hands by Vader. And this is more like it. The fans of Stone Cold on their feet. And ass whooping now for Vader. The mud hole stops in the corner. And Austin trying to get the crowd pumped up. Even more than they already are in this full attendance arena. Now, as you might have noticed last week on SmackDown, ahead of this new era, Stone Cold was not drafted. That is because following WrestleMania, his current contract is due to expire. Therefore, Austin was not eligible for this draft because, unlike many superstars, luckily for Austin, he can decide his own future following the big show. But will Austin even make it to the big show? Because even though we saw moments ago a pretty impressive reversal out of the Gorilla Press Slam, Vader now finding himself large and in charge, back in control. Now 
Vane up, pulling Austin to the ropes. Onto the apron. Austin could be in trouble. But a great move there by Austin. Putting that rope down. Vane up, going flying over the top rope. Crashing down to the outside. And Austin now with the double axe hand off the apron. Don't forget this match is a no DQ match. So of course, no count outs, no disqualifications. And the crowd enjoying this one, as am I. A fairly impressive brawl early on. This one, of course, not going to be pretty. You're not going to be seeing too many technical manoeuvres. This match, a hard-hitting, no DQ match. So expect, as we are seeing, plenty more right hands, plenty of power moves by Vader. Vader picking Austin up like he was nothing and throwing him across the ring. Austin to the corner. And this is not going to feel good for Austin. Oh, reversal. Austin now back on the offense. Doing all he can to attempt to take the big man down. As we are seeing though, easier said than done. This behemoth, this massive man, as nasty as they come. We've got to say, like it or not, credit to Vince McMahon for hand picking. Vader here this evening. If you're looking for a guy to inflict some serious damage, you can't get much better than Big Bang Vader. Back and forth, back and forth, this one goes. The crowd fully behind Austin. Vader on the leg sweep. And look at this, a massive elbow drop. Probably the most biggest elbow drop we have seen in quite some time. The rib cage of Austin has got to be in pieces. And Vader continuing some vicious stomps. Austin back to his feet. Although immediately being sent back down on the power slam. Vader into the cover. Is this one over? One. Not quite a two count. Austin still showing that resiliency. That has made him a legend and a multiple time world champion. Another power slamming coming. This time though, Austin has got the reversal. And what is this? These two men exchanging combinations, resulting in a sit down neck breaker. Finally, Vader taking down the hard way. Now, I mentioned before that Austin is a former world champion. But as a championship, Austin, I'm sure, will be looking to reclaim in the weeks and months to come. It has been some time now since Austin was a world champion here on Royal War, going back to bragging rights a few years ago now when Austin lost his most recent championship in a Champions of Champions matchup featuring RVD and CM Punk. Both these men, of course, no longer in the company. However, Austin still remains, and I'm sure we'll be looking to get back into that world championship picture in the very near future. Vader continuing this assault now. Exposing the announcer's table. Not looking good for Austin. Not looking good at all. Bounce face first off at the hard way. And now into the still steps. Now, even though this match is an only Q match, we've not seen any weapons. That is until now, because Big Van Vader now under the apron, and he has got a steel chair. Bad news for Austin. Bad news indeed. But still chair to the cranium and across the back of the neck. And of course, we know the history of Austin with the neck problems. Vader looking to abuse that.
Going after the bear hug. Oh, but Austin, the reversal. The DDT out of the bear hug. Vader that spot down the outside of the ring. And this could be Austin's opportunity. A clothesline. Vader and the crowd now. The crowd now up close and personal with Vader and Stone Cold Steve Austin. Don't forget, this match is a no DQ match. Nothing the referee can do about it. This match can go all over the arena if these guys want to. Vader in the guard route. Austin slamming his face off it. Knee to the gut. And now throwing Vader across the way into more steel. The trash can now come into play. And Austin, you can see, attempted to take this opportunity as much as he can. This is classic Austin. One of the best brawlers in this industry. But just like that, Vader, the behemoth of a man, reversing that one. This time, bouncing Austin's head off the steel. And you can see Austin doesn't quite know where he is. Referee looking on. Neither of these men looking for a pinball currently. Vader with the right hand. A big four on that. Austin bouncing over the guard route. Back into the ringside area. Austin dazed and confused. Oh, but look, he's grabbed the steel chair. And there we go. The DDT on the steel chair. The equaliser. Again now, Austin with another chance to get as much offense in as he can on the big man. Back in the ring now where this match has got to be won tonight. And it's time for some classic Austin offense. The elbows, the forearms, off the second rope. I thought Austin was going to go for a cover. Deciding against it, instead going... Going for that legendary Stone Cold Stunner. But Vader reversing it, catching the leg. And almost taking Austin's head off. The Stunner reversed. And now Vader looking for a big move of his own. The big man with a big move. The big power bomb. The gigantic power bomb by Big Van Vader. And the man that was handpicked by Vince Bassidney. Certainly proud of his actions. This match could potentially be over. But I think Vader looking to inflict more damage. Going for the exclamation point. The Vader salt. And Frank off for Austin that he moved because he would have been crushed like a bug. Austin out of the way of the Vader salt. And here we go once again. Stone Cold. Momentum fully on his side now. The new first press. The classic Austin elbow drops. The crowd going crazy. Austin going crazy. We could be seconds away from a Stone Cold Stunner. Stunner. No, again, Vader reversing it, catching the leg. Oh, this time, Austin pushing Vader away. The eye rake. A low blow. This is no DQ. Nothing the referee can do about it. This is classic Stone Cold. The eye rake. The low blow. Pull the big man back to his feet. Kick to the gut. And, of course, a gigantic Stone Cold Stunner. Vader almost stunned out of his boots. Austin into the cover. And this one is just about over. Vince McMahon's plan this evening. Backfiring. Austin finding a way. Getting the victory. Austin celebrating the crowd ecstatic. Oh, but here we go. The face-off that was rumoured. Vince McMahon now in the ring. Probably not the best move by McMahon. And here we go. Austin McMahon, the big right hand. Stone cold, of course. We know the history between these two men. Showing Vince what he thinks of him. And Vince McMahon could be on the verge of a classic Stone Cold whooping. But the crowd know what's coming. Oh, what is this? Vince's daughter, Stephanie McMahon now in the ring. A stunner to Stephanie. A Stone Cold stunner to the boss's daughter. And not only that, but the wife of the man that will be Vince's tag team partner at WrestleMania. The game Triple H, who is not here this evening. Vince somehow, somewhere escaping. So McMahon tasting a stun of a seedling. Although not the McMahon we imagined. Vince escaping. Stephanie instead taking a Stone Cold Stunner. 
what an ending to another classic edition of Monday Night Roar's War. There could be hell to pay for the Rattlesnake come WrestleMania when he faces Vince McMahon and Triple H in that winner-take-all tag team match.